Coach, uh, just tell me a little bit about uh, the ball game. Uh, it was a good victory for the Fishermen. Real good victory and uh, a lot of really good at-bats. Marcus Brown got a couple hits. Uh, actually, you go through the lineup. Dane Lund got a double. Um, Max Johnson got a couple. Um, Mark Gallegos got one and RBIs. Um, it just pretty much can go all the way through the lineup. Ian Erickson, we hit the ball through the lineup. Good little ball, a couple great two out base hits. Uh, Tay Landwehr got a two out single. Um, Connor Harbor got a two out double. So we hit the ball real well with men on base. Um, couldn't have played much better, really. Coach, early on, it's always uh, a case where usually the pitching defense are ahead of the hitters. The hitters are starting to catch up now. They're just getting the reps that they need yeah. to uh, to kind of center up and, and get good swings each and every time. Yeah, you know, we had that real good streak during spring break, and then we had kind of a massive layoff that we played last Thursday, uh, you know, a week ago Thursday, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. So we're in some kind of a rhythm now nice where we're choice. playing about every two or three days. So we should be fine Tuesday, Thursday next week against a good Scapoose club and should be fun. Three starters who, who seem to have really uh, done well, uh, Connor Harbor, Max Johnson, Taylor Landwehr, they, they right. really seem to, to, to kind of give you an opportunity to jump out on offense and then they don't let the, the other team have anything. And, you know, pitching and defense, if, if you're going to be if you're going to be a tough playoff team, that is exactly where it has to start. You have to hang your head on keeping, keeping it hard for other people to score runs.